What's up guys, Miguel here, and today we have two gameplay videos in one, both with commentary. Yes, I made sure that this time my mic was not on mute. <laughs> but before I go and let you hear whatever nonsense I blurred out during this gameplay, I just wanted to talk to you about something I'm very passionate about. Now, I haven't been on YouTube for long, so I will say this. Call of Duty is a part of me. It's a part of what's made me and keeps me a gamer. I haven't always agreed with the decisions made for the game, but it's never been too bad that I'd never look at the series again. I also can admit when other games in the same genre have the upper hand on COD. <coughs> Battlefield <coughs> 1! <coughs> oh, sorry. I have... <coughs> yeah. That said, while I accept other people's opinions, like a wild animal protecting its young, I don't know what actual animal does this, but if my game is attacked and I feel it can be defended, then I will. And this is exactly what I'm about to do, because I feel that some people could use as many opinions as they can in terms of whatever is troubling them. And as you can probably tell by the title of this video, what I'm about to talk about, uh, sorry, what I'm going to talk about is Call of Duty and the amount of skill and mental effort it takes to play. And this is coming from an average player, or something maybe slightly higher than that. I don't know, you tell me based on my videos. Um, uh, before I continue, I just want to say I'm sorry, I live in a very well, like somewhat small apartment, so a lot of things can be heard in the background, like washing machines and uh, water running, so apologies for that. Now, anyway, a lot of complaints I read about Call of Duty, whether it be from random commenters on YouTube, seasoned reviewers like Angry Joe, love Angry Joe, or pro players like, insert pro player's name from a certain team here, one of the common complaints is that Call of Duty takes no skill or no tactics. Now remember, this is just my opinion, and if yours differs, I can only try to change your mind, but I won't disrespect your opinion if you if you can't be swayed. I'm not even trying to sway you, I'm just trying to... This, this video is more for the people who um, are curious or are thinking about buying Call of Duty, and maybe the amount of skill it takes to play is one of those def uh, defining factors for them. So anyway, Known for its run-and-gun shooter accessibility, I don't find it surprising that a lot of people think that way, but I find it far from true that Call of Duty has no strategy or team play involved. The problem, in my opinion, isn't the game, which a lot of people cl claim rather uh, isn't the game. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. let me try that again. The problem, in my opinion, isn't the game, which is what a lot of people say. The problem, in my opinion, is the community. A community that's dominated by people obsessed with leveling up or raising their overall kill-death ratio. Heck, I won't even refer to them as the community. I don't know, maybe you can just call these people uh, just random single element players. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it, it's, a people, it's dominated by people obsessed with leveling up and raising their overall kill-death ratio, getting their skins, you know, all that stuff that likes to show off. For reviewers especially... To judge a game, to judge the game this way, and not to take into consideration the difference between playing a game and good teammates and bad teammates, is a bit misleading. Because you know, an online game is just—it can only be rated so. It can only be uh, um, how do I put this? Objectively uh, judged in so in, in such an to such an extent. So, giving one of the most uh, obvious examples is watching professional Call of Duty matches, which are full of callouts of enemy enemy positions and of whatever action another player is doing. Uh, tactics commonly found in other first person games as well. Now I feel like by this point I've already made people who disagree with me or with what I'm saying angry or annoyed with me, but hear me out. Yes, when compared to other games, COD is a lot easier to start playing and maybe even easier to master in comparison to games like Counter-Strike, Battlefield, or even one of my personal favorites, Rainbow Six Siege. But again, that doesn't mean there is absolutely no semblance of strategy involved in Call of Duty. It's there. It's just really hard to see for the most part. I just wish more people would kind of try to see that. And, you know, more pe so more people would play more team-based modes like Search and Destroy or even Domination. But of course, no. Team Deathmatch will always be the most played mode in Call of Duty. <sighs> or, you know, at least, at the very least not run ahead of every everyone else, turn a corner only to get shot in the back because he didn't wait for someone to cover him. Or, you know, someone didn't want to cover him. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You get the point. 
you get the point. People like to play on their own, even if it's, it's a team-based game. Call of Duty tactics tactics are clouded by a significant chunk of its player base, and if you're willing to go through that, then you'll find something worth forming a team of friends for. That that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Anyway, that that's 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 pretty much it. So yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and if you'd like to see more Call of Duty, Street Fighter, or other random games I feel like playing with my voice over them from time to time, please like my video, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me want to do this more, and helping me do this more is helping someone else enjoy themselves or helping them be informed. Thanks a lot, and have a lovely day. Now I'm gonna go play some Call of Duty. Goodbye. That's a kill. We won. That's a kill. We won. That's a kill we won. That wasn't even the best score, but that was a pretty good score. We're getting better. We're getting better. Yeah, I'm loving this game so much. Like it is it's even better than I remember it. Like it it's it, it, it's it's horribly imbalanced. Well not horribly, but it is imbalanced, but it's got its unno like little nuances there, but it's it's great. It's really great. Oh shit, I thought that was a... I just have a feeling, okay? And that feeling was wrong. Oh, you're, you're taking that? Okay. Whoa! Ah, there you go. Show up again. Wow, I'm, there are a bunch of snipers on this map right now. I'm act I'm actually scared to move. See if he's still up there. Yep, <laughs> he was still up there. He was still up there. Everybody's running Juggernaut! Slow start. Ha! No. Thought he'd still be- No, he was there! I'm an idiot. He was hiding. I'm an idiot. Where? How? Why? I killed someone with another grenade. Oh, shit. Alright, he's dead now. Ah, 
should have seen that one coming. First things you do in this game. Let's go around. Snipers are creeping me out. Wow, I'm I'm on point with those right now. Aggressive. There's one there. Shit. I got confused. I, I should have just stuck to one target. the video of the Infinite Warfare Zombie World. Yeah. Like clowns. Clowns. Yes, there are killer clowns in that game. Oh crap, wait, wait. Shh. Shit. Uh that I'm not using. Uh yeah. Uh if it's not hang it's it's behind my laptop. Hold on. I'll get it. Also, since we you don't have a, con a third controller, for this fourth okay, that's good. On 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 uh, on Infinite Warfare, yeah, but not in, not in remastered. <laughs>